According to East Idaho News, a funeral home director pleading not guilty to the mishandling of up to 88 bodies. 47 year old Lance Peck had his mortician license revoked and his business shut down last year after it was found that families believing their loved ones bodies were going to be donated for research. Well, they never were. During a search of the funeral home, police reported finding 12 decomposing and unrefrigerated bodies. Peck appeared in court this week and was released after posting a $20,000 bond. Well, we're heading into Labor Day tomorrow. Experts want to remind you to stay cool. Of course, we're enduring this record heat wave. ABC 4's Kayla Baggerly spoke with experts at Intermountain Healthcare about avoiding heat illness. Hi, Kayla. Yeah, Nick, we have been seeing record heat lately and with more hot days coming up. Experts say it's important to limit your time out in the sun and make sure you have plenty of water by your side. A lot of us this weekend with Labor Day weekend are going to be out boating, hiking, camping, riding four wheelers, things of that nature. Labor Day is tomorrow and while celebrating, it's important to also remember to stay safe while having some fun in the sun. Most illnesses are because of overexertion or lack of sunscreen. Jay Larson with Intermountain Healthcare says when it comes to heat illness, some symptoms to look out for are uh, severe dry mouth. Um, sweating uncontrollably, or even if it goes too far, a lack of sweating. He also says to watch for if you might start acting out of it, or if your skin turns bright red. To avoid these issues, Larson says to stay in the shade, wear sunscreen, and clothes like a wide-brimmed hat that can help keep you cool. But more importantly than that is to hydrate. And the simplest way to hydrate is find yourself a water bottle, and keep filling it up. And if you are starting to feel off. One of the best things you can do is obviously remove yourself from the situation. If you're fortunate enough to have air conditioning or somewhere where you can be, either in your vehicle or your home, go in, turn the air conditioner on, try to cool off. He says this is especially important to keep in mind with the current high temperatures we have been having. Typically we're used to it being cooler during this time of year, it started or starting to cool off, but obviously we're seeing the exceptional high heat this year and this week, so please just be careful. This Labor Day, you might want to do things like gardening or going hiking, but Larson says to keep in mind that doing activities like these in high temperatures can increase the likelihood of heat-related illness. So make sure you're not overexerting yourself and doing what you can to stay safe out there. Reporting live in Murray, Kayla Baggerly, ABC4 News.